All right. So, this company sent me this crap that, like, a bunch of these have no dates on them. And then, like, one of them. Here, if you can see, the edges are uneven. And there's actually barbs on it. So, anyway, uh, we're just going to try out this practice skin. I have never done this before. With only tattooed human people. <laughs> 11 round liners. Those are pretty big. Um, I don't know what these really are. I think they're um, sevens. Um, put these over here. We're going to use a couple of different things. I'm using this power supply here. I should use the other one because I can just lock it on. I don't want to sit here with this foot pedal. Okay. So this is the one that comes in the kit. This is a warm hole or whatever the hell. Um, and um, yeah, I just contacted them about these needles and the stuff like that. And um, yeah, they were just like, we'll give you $3 back. I'm like, so, a box of 50 needles, and a bunch of them are boogered up, and they're all about to expire. And you want to give me $3. Yes, I understand the entire kit was $26. Seven round, seven round. Okay. Grab one of these. I don't know the fit of these. When I was doing this before, I would buy my tubes. And my tubes had a built-in barrel on them. And I didn't have to do this crap. So, um, I'm thinking about ordering one of these, uh, I need to put this where I can see it. So don't copy me because um, I don't do things the right way. <laughs> There's also um, used to be another certain particular way you wanted to have these in here on some of these tubes. So realistically, you do want that to face that direction. We get our bag of parts here. I don't know what's all in here. Um, these are probably not very good rubber bands. You get uh, red, blue, and green on these things. I don't know if there's any difference. Maybe the hardness of them. Um, just make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. So you shouldn't have to replace these too often. They do wear out, but. Um, it kind of really depends. Let's try to set a little better. It depends on the material that it's made out of, but well, typically it shouldn't be an issue. So, what I like to do this is put a needle bar. Can you guys see that? You need the bar side facing the back of the machine so that it doesn't catch. And the first time putting these on here, they don't always want to go. They used to sell, um, yeah, this isn't going to work. They used to sell these, um, they used to sell needles with these already in them. They were just like a rubber grommet. Okay, that one's not going to work. Um, I don't know if these are just a different size. Um, let's try these green ones. Oh, Lord. Actually, with this one, you're going to want that going in there like that. So, because it looks like it'll hang up otherwise. So, let's see if we can get this through here first. Okay, like that. 
start. Sometimes you, you know, you have to change things, even though, like, people say, well, it's supposed to be done like this. Well, sometimes that doesn't always work. So you just kind of look at this and see if your geometry looks right. And, uh, so, you be careful when you put it in there so you don't catch the tips of the needles, because that is one way you can damage them. And, um... This particular machine isn't, uh, well, it doesn't like the tube. So, uh, let me get in here. I'll put the, uh, the L. And let's see. Okay. So, let's see if you guys can can see this. Let me, let me move my camera where I can see it so I know what I'm showing you. Okay. Boy, it doesn't want to focus. All right, let's try this again then. So, you would set your needle here. Depends on how much you want to hang out everybody has a different preference and some people and i even used to do it myself i'd hang out the needle really really far so i could really watch it you know um it doesn't always matter um but sometimes you'll find it just doesn't work right so i'm gonna go with about a dime a dime stick out so you know, they say, uh, what is it, dime liner, nickel shader? You know, I mean, he used to say that. So, I mean, there's all sorts of, you know, things. But really, uh, it just depends on the machine. So, now that I've got that in there, I'm just going to turn on my machine and see. I, I'll, I'll look at it and see what it looks like. And then... I'll grab one of these rubber bands. You gotta take clip cord off to do that. And you don't want too much tension on it, um, but you don't want too little. Now this just kind of acts like a, a dampener, keeps it from flopping around, and um, it will also slow down the machine, so you need to adjust it after you do this. So, we got that set up. You hear how it changed? And you're going to look at the machine and, and look for a nice little figure eight shape on there. We're looking at the uh, armature bar end. And this one looks like it's off kind of on the geometry, maybe a little bit. But um, we're not going to really get too concerned about that because we're just going to take like this, uh, um, this practice stuff here and just to see what it does. I'm not really interested in trying this ink that they have. Uh, I'll, I, I have some other stuff, but, um, uh, I used to just always get Kirosumi for, like, black stuff, so, um, I used to might as well crack it open and see what it looks like, but, you know, I've heard from the reviews that it's not very good. It sounds really watery. Um... Complies with EU code attention. Do not use in or near eyes. Store in cool, dry place. Keep away from extreme heat. Guaranteed sterile, non-toxic, non-flammable. Uh, material, uh, glycerol, 75% ethanol, special solvent, polyglycol, uh, natural edible color powder, black, wormhole tattoo. Um... Jesus. Now you gotta cut the end of these damn things? What the frickin' hell? Okay. Let me see here. So I'm gonna look at the ink and see. Um, I'm gonna turn this flash off. Anyway, I don't want to... Um, 
got it with the knife and getting all the place, so I'm just gonna get like some little snips if I can find them. Of course. Yeah, I knew it. As soon as I cut the damn thing open, ink all over the fucking place. Lovely. So, and I don't think I have any uh, wipes whatsoever out here because <laughs> I wasn't prepared to do this. Okay, and put a few drops in the cup here. And um, cap back on here. And see. So, I don't have wipes, I got toilet paper out here. <laughs> Which is a major no-no. So unless you're in jail or prison, use something else. And uh, when we were in prison, we didn't use toilet paper, trust me. We used cloth and just throw it out. You know, old t-shirts and stuff. Let's see what this thing does. It might spit all over the place, too. That's another thing to keep in mind. And... Try not to bump the bottom of your cap, you know what I mean? So, I really uh, should be using a um, a shader. Let me just do something here. So, uh, just a quick little flame thing just to see. Um, it didn't go through the back of it, but it felt like it was. And I, I don't know um, what happens when you wipe it. Um, sort of weird. I don't know. Let's try something else.
God damn it. I haven't done that in years. Yeah, so I'm basically just making a freaking mess here. And um, this is a good example why you gotta be careful not to bump the uh, thing. So this is a good way to find out if this ink is any good, to be honest. Because <laughs> um, if this crap stains my table and I can't get it off, um, then I'll know this is good crap. Otherwise... I'll be back. Um, yeah. Well, it must be fairly good because it doesn't want to come off the table. <laughs> and I'm using 91% uh, rubbing alcohol. This sucks because I really didn't want to get anything on this table. Well, we used to do on uh, it was a shop. We'd cover the table with saran wrap, and then you wouldn't have to worry about it. You just, you know, get it off that way. I'm gonna have a hard time getting this out of there. It don't look like it's gonna come out easy. So. Um. Some strange practice skin for sure. Um, so if you wipe the practice skin, the rubbing alcohol. You see the little skull I did there? Yeah, like most of it disappeared when I, I wiped it. So, anyway, um, I don't know about this stuff. It's certainly, um, it's certainly cool. Um, when I got into this years and years ago, you had to buy pig skin or something. You had to go, uh, to the butcher and ask him for pig skin. That was what that's what people did back then. Or you just worked on yourself and um, you know, hopes you didn't screw yourself up too bad. And um, you know, I was never very good at tattooing, except for in prison, um, because when it got out and got one of these type of machines, it just wasn't the same kind of deal. So anyway. Um, I'll make another video later on and stuff, uh, but, uh, yeah, it's cool. Um, so anyway, we'll catch you guys later.